All right, so we opened up this brand new Toy Box Alpha 2 printer this morning for Christmas and went to print just the first project that pops up on it and we're greeted with this message. I, I'm just gonna show on here. Whoop. It just said, something's not right. Problem saving the toy. Unplug and replug the printer. So at that point, we went to the troubleshooting and did everything it said. We unplugged it, we plugged it back in. We did that a lot of times. And then we also did the hard reset, which was as it was booting up, you pressed each corner. We tried that, it didn't work. So the next thing that it recommended was to try reinserting the SD card. So unfortunately, the only video I could find about how to access the SD card was the video um, for the previous version of the toy box printer. And so at that point we were all stressed and we couldn't get it to work and it was super frustrating. I tried sending a message. I tried putting, posting a Facebook group, but we wanted it to work because you know, it's Christmas morning and we have a new toy. So I just started finagling around with it. So I'm going to put this in the, um, in a holder so that I can show you exactly how we figured it out because I don't think we're the only people that have this issue. All right, so in the previous version, you were supposed to unscrew um, some screws that were like on the bottom of this tray. Well, there are no screws there. So I was like, okay, well maybe I just can pop this out. And I still kind of have it out from when I pulled it. I'm like, maybe I can pop this out. You could not pop it out. Um, so I was looking for screws and happened upon, I have this in because we actually got to print stuff on it. All right, so I happened upon these screws on the back. Um, there are six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. I removed each of those screws with a Phillips head drive, um, Phillips head screwdriver, and took them all out. So then after I did that, it does not just easily come out. And I was like, well, maybe that doesn't work. But I was super determined, so I got this butter knife and just wedged it underneath into any cracks that I could find. It was not, it was not you have to push it a lot harder than you than I felt comfortable with. So let me look for kind of a little crack. And I just kind of had to shove it in there and pop it up. So I just kind of went along here. It sounded kind of like it was breaking, but I did it and it did not break. So I feel good about that. Just went all the way around, popping it up. Um, to get it off. Ugh. Again, you have to pull it harder than you feel comfortable doing on an item that you pay, you know, isn't cheap. All right, so pulled that up and now that is off and I'm able to just kind of pull that out. Now, I you didn't want to pull on it too hard because there are a significant amount of wires and stuff in there. Um, so I got that off as you can see here, and this is where I use an extra set of hands. So I had my husband hold this for me, just reminding not to pull it hard. And then I went in underneath and popped this base piece up. Once you do that, in there, Let's see if I can find it on here. Um, okay, it's right there. Okay, so it's this right here. I just had to kind of stick my hand in to this piece here. It's hard to get in uh, right here this piece of the silver box and you just have to push it in. You just have to push it in. Oh, sorry. It's very tight quarters, so it's hard to get my hand in. But there's just like an SD card here that you have to push on 
it makes a clicking sound and it pops out. And then I'm gonna push it again and now it's in. And after I did that, I just put everything back in place. And have had no other issues. We've been able to print and immediately started working. That was the issue. Um, it just was not incorrectly. And I guess it seems that it has to be able to save the project before it can cut the project. And so after I did that, I put that bottom piece back in and then I put the top back in and you have to kind of click it back into place just like we had to kind of unclick it when it was coming out. So I put that back in. Um, and on each of those sides, just had to click and make sure it's back in. Um, and then just screw those back in. So each corner just has to get screwed back in in the middle. And then that was it and it started working. And so once you have put that base back in, do make sure that you get these wire, this wiring um, back in on the corners into the little slots that are there for them. Um, and then after that, it, we ran it again and it immediately printed. There were no issues at all. Um, in fact, we've made, Will, will you bring me the little thing that we've been printing? Yeah. The little guy? I'll just bring it here. Hurry. So we calibrated it and we've started printing this little guy here. Um, so it's working perfectly now. We just had to fix the SD card. So hopefully this will help someone else to know exactly what to do in the same situation.